walk. I want to do the walk, okay? International walk up.
Okay. So just get to a spot where you can see. Okay. First of all, energy 100 times better than yesterday. I think yesterday was better. Um, I still think the biggest thing that's holding us back right now is having a finishing attitude around the okay? And that's it. Okay? Yeah. Um, and we're going to talk about some ways to exploit their back line because their back line right now looks like goals, goals all over the place. This is the exact opposite of the back line you played against yesterday. Back line yesterday dropped tight all together, took away gaps. Today, you're getting gaps left and right. Okay? The only difference is when you get your opportunities on goal, you have to be a goal scorer. You have to be. You're not going to get a perfect shot. You don't have to improve a good shooting opportunity. You just have to take the opportunity. But I think that's the only place where they're dangerous. However, we have so many opportunities that we can get more Yeah, I just want to talk really quick about the midfield. There's a lot of times when we receive the ball, right? We get it all the time on backwards. Right? And why are we playing balls backwards? Okay, so our, our starting shape, but what else is not? Communication. Nobody's saying what. You have time, you have time to turn. Um, what happens when we have the ball, we start going forward? What is their back? They do what? They drop. So why are we serving the ball? What should we be doing instead? Say it one more time. Yeah, dribble, make them commit, right? That allows us to do two things, right? It allows us to be more organized. It allows us to help them get supporting numbers. Okay, great stuff. Much better than yesterday. Have that mentality. Some of you guys really have it. Lose the ball. What do you want to do? Get it back. Come on, girls, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Go, 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 go. Attitude drives the ball. Yep. You have to go get it. Ball's bouncing in front of the ball. Be a goal scorer and go score. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go!
I think, first of all, fantastic start to the game. He scored a goal five minutes in the and he started to set the whole tone of that half. At moments, I think we got away, or half got away, the game got away from us a little bit, okay, um, when he got a little frantic. Um, but I think your responses every time were great. Kylie freaking showed up to play today, okay? Oh, Kylie's here to play. Um, we need to get a couple more on that. Okay, I'm telling you, the score is okay. We need to keep pushing. You cannot, cannot stop scoring in this game. Okay. Heather, do you want to talk a little bit defensively? Yeah, I mean, I think the defensive piece, right, we have kept the ball in front of us every single time, correct? They've never gotten what? Behind us. They've gotten one opportunity on goal, solid opportunity, because we weren't touched tight in the midfield. And so it's just organizing those tracking runs, right? Um, does that make sense, Kendra? So she came across and we kind of peeled off instead of putting pressure to her, but that is lack of communication. You know what I love about our defensive piece today is we have stepped to every single ball today and have won every single ball, which we have struggled. Um, and we've gotten better and better each half, okay? I'm gonna leave you with a famous Heather quote. Okay, you ready? I need to edit this. No, it, 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 it'll be legit. <laughs> ready? Good players get tired. Great players never get tired. Okay. Okay. Hey, we may, if we can get two more, we may drop a four five one. Okay, and just match how they're playing in this But we need to go out in the first ten minutes. We've got to get another goal on this. Hey, don't settle. Three more, four more. Don't settle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
This actually plays in a lot to how we want to play. How they want to defend, okay? Um, they want to play counter. They want to drop all the numbers <coughs> behind the ball, and then they want to play it to who up top, so 22, and they want, her, they want her to get on her right foot, and they want her to go run and dribble, and that's how they want to create, okay? These girls are like bulldogs. They're like, please play the ball right here because I want it. So you need to sit in this gap. This player. This wide player needs to sit in this guy. We need to make them so there's two players that have to try and try. This is going to free you up to get more numbers forward and to possess the ball. You have to be comfortable now you're going to be in this half. D defenders, you're going to have a little bit better time because you're not, in, you're not in the bud. Now they have to defend in the bud. That's all it is. You're going to have to get the ball forward more. You're going to have to get those numbers. Okay? Um, because that's what they're looking for. And guys, when we cross it in the box, their defenders don't know who the ball Because the whole time they were just like, somebody get uh, uh, and then the ball got served and they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, because yeah, these four are to just going to sit like this. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you get those runs across, it's going to be very difficult for them to trap into. Make the same play with the they freak out when they make you dribble. Like when you ask them Everything's to dribble first touch. You. Yeah, right. if you ask them to play Okay, that's what's going to open it up. But you guys are going to have to be more patient in the attack. I don't think we've had enough quality chances <coughs> for the amount of time that we've been forward. Okay? Any questions? You ready? Get it. You guys, guys, pick it up. We need to like, on, have the attitude that we wanted. Like, remember last year with Pride? Like, this is like the exact same moment here. Like, I know it's not against the same team, but we need to have the same attitude we yeah. did that day to go out and literally not let anyone come through us. Let's go. So now we have the technical piece. It's just a decision. Let's go. Let's we can't decide waste. we're going to go win. But we can't <laughs> waste the free kicks here. We have to go get them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, you cannot accept any other outcome than what you came here for. You guys have to battle more. I don't think the energy has been good enough up top. I don't think the, move, the speed and change of speed has not been good enough up top. I don't think our midfielders or our backs have joined enough. I think all the movement is stagnant because you're like, I don't know where to go. There's people in the space. There's going to be people there. You still have to move and commit to it. Okay. Quit watching to see what everyone else is going to do first. You do it. Put the game on your shoulders. <coughs> go have some energy and let's go. Okay? Let's go!
it's just as if we're just stretching odd, what stretch are we doing now? Um, we're doing butterfly, but we're kind of waiting for people to get their stuff off. Okay. okay. And then we'll do butterfly first. All right. So get on the same page here with Audrey so we can stretch. Stretching is the most oh. important thing you guys are going to do right now for your recovery for tomorrow. Oh, Audrey, because you guys are now um, under, oh, let's say, 19 hours from playing again. So recovery is the most important thing we can do right now. Okay. Um, let's go one foot out to the right. Have hey, it. just eyes up here. Listen. Uh, I don't think it was the prettiest game we've ever played, oh, by no. any means. I think we struggled a little bit when we tried to change shape um, and try and figure that out. However, you guys bought into finding the way to make it work, um, and you figured out a way to win. You're not going to win games that you play perfect all the time, and you're not going to lose games that you don't play perfect. So sometimes you just have to figure it out and figure out a way to do it, okay? And Riley decided, even though I kept saying, Wide, wide, wide. Riley's like, I'm going to come in the middle, and then I'm going to shoot it and score. So, you know what? Some games, you just need to be a player on the field and figure out how it's going to work. Um, so, so, hey, congrats again on making it back. It's a big achievement for you guys. Eyes up here. Okay, congrats again on making it back. Congrats! Thank you! So, most important thing now is we're going to go eat, and you guys can shower, yeah. and we're going to do ice baths, okay. um, and we'll work on some more recovery. Thank you. Thank you! Thanks, guys. Okay, let's go one foot out to the left uh, Nora, I think, has a little something to show. Oh, you're right. Oh, I got it. We're gonna okay, so this, I was going to say this before the game, but we got a little bit out of it. We need to go with the first. So it says, for my family. Um, I said this before, but a moment of pain is worth a lifetime of glory. Once said a very smart man named Louis Zamperini. If you don't know who he is, he was a famous Olympic, Olympic athlete. I know that we're tired, and although we got the day off, the weather is perfect to go pick kick us, and I know you guys can do it. I'm not here to cry, although I probably will. Making it to the semifinals, making it to the finals, bro, um, is awesome, and I'm so proud of you guys. You guys have no idea how much I want to play, um, but, but, but this is why I want to say thank you. Thank you for making me a part of this journey and picking me up whenever I fall. Whether that's hurtling over the goalkeeper or when my knee blows up. All I can say is I'm very thankful for the people who are here, for my friends, but more like my family. This team is weird because we're more than a team. I know that we have this fire inside us, so we need to go ignite it tomorrow. Um, a year ago today, we played Pride, and that game is something I'll never forget. We need to step on the field with the mentality that no one can stand a chance going against us. I know that you guys can taste it, so can I. But this is going to be hard, and it's going to be a struggle. But nothing is worth anything in life if you don't push through it with us. So go out there, be proud. Be proud to represent our state. Be proud to represent our club. And be proud to represent our family. And I know that I'll be proud of you cheering on the sideline. I know that you guys can do it. So go out there with the determination that nothing can stand in your way. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll the team <laughs> stretching. We'll get a chair, and then we'll get out of here. Hey, guys, put your legs up like that.
was bound to happen. You were bound to give up a goal with the energy you were putting out. It was just a given, okay? I, I'm going to be honest with you. You're second to every ball. Physically, you're getting played off the park. You guys are playing like a bunch, a bunch of players who look like you've never been in a game that you really want to win. They're coming into you, and they're what are they leading with every time? Body? Your ankles will probably have bruises all over them because you guys are getting flustered by their physicality. You're not going to get a call. So stop waiting for the calls and stop getting frustrated by it and start initiating it back. Quit waiting for them to come in and kick your ankles. You should already be physical from the moment you get the ball. And you should move the ball quicker so they can't come in and kick your ankles. That's a physical challenge to you that you got to come out here in the second half and do. Okay? Jim just said a couple times, God, every time we get the ball out there, out wide, do you know what they do defensively? It's this. They have four in the back and they have four in the midfield. And you know where all of them go? They all go in the box. No, no, nothing's going to be given to you here. Nothing is. They don't have enough subs. You guys need to run them off the park. And that needs to start by keeping possession. Jim, is there yeah, No, I agree. That space, that slot space is open. You're also looking, we got broken down a couple times early. Have that earlier cross when we were behind their back line. Okay, does that make sense? A little bend ball between the, the in front of their goalie, behind their back line as we make the runs in. Okay. Hey, I'm looking at you right now and I'm seeing that <coughs> this is kind of hard. I don't know if I want to do it. You have to go in there and embrace it. It is hard work. That's what it is. Teams that don't want to do hard work don't deserve to be here. You you know what you were down? You know what the score was in the President's Cup Final? State Colorado? 1-0. And you guys bought in to going out in the second half and said, let's go. We've already been down in games like this before. Awesome. And you know what? We deserve to be down. We did. So now go win the second half. You have 45 minutes. It's a long time. I was also saying at Nationals, guys, we were down 2-0 when we came back. Let's go, guys. Like, we have the potential to go out and win it. But you guys, we need to actually step on the field and send a message to this team saying that we're not here to f around. We're here to f around. Like, like you need fast. to step on the field, and we have to do that right now. Like, we only have one more half, 45 more minutes to make a difference and to score way more goals. They conceded three goals in the second half yesterday. Yesterday, yep. They're going to concede goals because they're going to get tired and they're going to be lost. Success and failure are so close to each other. If you don't risk being great, you automatically fail. The people who risk being really great can then succeed. If you don't, you just stay average or you just fail. Go out there and risk it, okay? Guys, we need to send a message. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. Let's go. Let's go.
to stay for a little bit. Um, you know, at the end of the game, we were playing with four forwards. We were playing with two in the back. You know, we literally threw everybody forward that we could get. Um, and uh, it was, we were just having a tough time being successful around the so, We were just missing that little bit of an edge. Um, you know, I don't know if we just needed, needed a little bounce or, you know, we needed to be able to create something. Um, so, you know, and, and sometimes the games can be down to down to just missing that little, that little piece. Um, but, you guys, you literally threw everything at, that you could at him. Um, and you just come up with a really good team to you guys what happens. Um, especially for the seniors here, you know, I think you guys have had an incredible run. You had to go through a birth year change where a lot of you played for the same clubs and you have good places. Um, and you guys all came together and achieved incredible things. So, um, you really, I, I know it's hard to think about it right now, but you can look back and really, really be proud of what this group accomplished. Um, um, so, I really want to give you guys a chance to play how well you guys have done. You know, this, this doesn't feel like a fitting in, um, but these things, these things happen, and I think if you feel like you did everything that you could, that's all you can do. Okay? Um, you guys are a special group. What you guys have done on the field has been so proud of you. You guys all read it, okay? All right, blast out three! One, two, three, blast!